Hey, I'm Chris, lead trainer at Film Editing Pro. In this video, we're gonna explore the new AI enhanced speech tool in Premiere Pro to clean up noisy or badly recorded audio specifically for your dialogue. We'll look at how it works. We'll discuss some of the pros and cons of using AI audio enhancement. We'll test out different scenarios to see what it's capable of. And we'll offer our professional advice on how you can use it to get the best results. Now, our senior trainer and Premiere Pro expert, Brian Levin, is gonna dig into everything. Let's begin. Now, a while ago, Adobe unveiled this website, podcast.adobe.com, which basically said enhance speech. And it was really cool. You could drop assets into it. It would take your audio. It would clean it up. It promised to make it sound like a podcast. So you could take some poorly recorded audio, perhaps from outside, drop it into this podcast website, let it process, and then it would spit out a version of that audio that sounded remarkably like you had been on a podcast. And you know what? It worked pretty darn good. The big question was, well, when is this going to be inside of Premiere? And the answer is as of version 24.3. So if you are on Premiere version 24.3 or above, you now have access to this AI tool directly inside of Premiere through the Essential Sound Panel. Let me show you how it works. I'm gonna take this clip here, which is our narration audio. Now the narration audio that we have here is already pretty good, pretty clean. Chris did a great job of recording it, but we're gonna play with these tools anyway. Then later on in this lesson, I'll show you how to use this against some less desirable audio. If you've been following along with our course, you may already have the Essential Sound Panel open from one of the last lessons. But if you don't, you can go up to the Window menu and choose Essential Sound. So the first thing we're going to do here is take our audio clip, which in this case is some narration, and open up your Essential Sound Panel and make sure to tag it as Dialog right here. Once you do that, you have all your different dialog options like reverb or clarity, but the one that we want is up here and it's called Enhance Speech. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Enhance right now. Now you should see it do some processing. It might take a couple of minutes to do this depending on the speed of your computer. Ultimately what is happening here is your computer is doing some processing to use the AI tools that are built inside of Premiere to process this audio for you. Now my computer is lightning fast, so it was done really, really quickly. This is also a really short clip. So your computer might take longer, might take shorter, depends on your computer. If you've already processed the clip in the past, it might go almost instantaneously. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my next sequence here. I just kind of organized these for this lesson. And this one has my enhanced audio already processed. I'm gonna go ahead and just play back the processed audio for you so you can hear it. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. Okay, now let me go ahead, click on this audio here, and just uncheck the enhance. When I uncheck this, you're gonna see the waveforms have changed. This is the original audio. Let me play that for you so you can hear a comparison. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. Okay, great. Now you should be able to hear a difference, especially with headphones on. What you're probably hearing in the original audio is a little bit more of the room presence. So it sounds like Chris is in a room and when he speaks, the sound of his voice is reverberating off of the walls in his room. Let me go ahead and turn back on the enhanced audio and play that again for you. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. Now the enhanced version sounds a little bit more clear, much closer, as if there is no room reverberation happening. This is more podcast-like, in a way. So when you think of your favorite podcasts that you listen to, they generally sound something like this. You don't hear a lot of echo, reverberation, everything sounds warm and clear. It's got bass, it's got a lot of texture to it. And this is what Enhance is trying to do. Now the audio we got from Chris is already fantastic. It was perfectly recorded in a fantastic room environment. So cleaning it up without this tool would have been really simple to do with just some basic clip effects. The Enhance tool is doing a lot of that for us a lot more quickly. And the results are pretty good. However, one thing I will note is that it can tend to sound a little bit robotic. So let me go ahead and play it again for you so you can hear it. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. 
Okay, now if you find that the enhanced audio is sounding just a bit too robotic, you can always come over here to the mix amount and dial it to less or more. Let's go all the way to zero for a second. And as we dial it down to the bottom, we can see the waveforms change. All right, let's go back to the beginning here and listen to it. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. Let me go ahead and just mix it all the way to 100% or 10. And we're gonna play it now. Welcome to Film Editing Pro, where we're gonna teach you how to become a professional editor. Okay, so it's a matter of taste. I think this is a little bit too robotic and I would kind of play with this to make it sound a little bit better, but you get the general idea of how this works. Now, let me show you another example here. I'm gonna come over to enhance audio number three. Now I was uh, on the Film Editing Pro server last night and I was looking for some footage to use, trying to find some good footage of you know some audio that could be cleaned up a little bit. And I managed to find this secret footage of Chris that I don't think he wanted me to find of him cooking a pizza. Let's watch one of these clips. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that, and then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven, and it cooks in probably about five minutes, and you get a nice, really crispy uh, crust on the bottom because it's so hot underneath with that surface. All right, Chris, the pizza sounds delicious. However, your audio sounds terrible. So let me go ahead and select this first clip here. I'm gonna tag it as dialogue and click enhance. Now, I've already enhanced this clip on my end, so enhancing it only took a quick second. Now, it's been enhanced. I'm going to play this clip back for you. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that, and then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven, and it cooks in probably about five minutes, and you get a nice, really crispy uh, crust on the bottom because it's so hot underneath with that surface. All right, that's making me very hungry, so we have to kind of hurry up through this lesson. But before we wrap it up, I want to talk about what happened here. So what basically happened is the Enhance tool tried to isolate Chris's voice over the sound of the mixer. So if I were to go ahead and just lower the mix amount here, we can see the waveforms are very, very different. There's a lot more of this sort of audio at the bottom, which is the mixer. Let me play this back for you. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that, and then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. And then when I go ahead and crank this up all the way to 10 to the very top and play this back. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that. And then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. The sound of the mixer is basically gone. At a value of 10, the enhanced tool is trying its very best to isolate the voice and only the voice. So in addition to doing things like cleaning up great audio and giving it a sort of podcast sound, it can also do a lot of work to clean up bad audio and make it sound a little bit better. Now, the problem is that in doing so, it tends to sound a little bit robotic. Let me keep playing this so you can hear it. And it cooks in probably about five minutes and you get a nice, really crispy uh, crust on the bottom because it's so hot underneath with that surface. It almost doesn't even sound real. It does sound like a robot trying to make sounds. Now, let me look at a couple other examples from this same video. Here we have Chris doing some audio in front of the fan and we have three different settings, the fan on low, the fan on medium, and the fan on high. Here's the fan on low. All right, so we'll start by putting in a quarter cup of olive oil. We've got two tablespoons of tomato paste. Okay, still sounding really good, Chris. Can't wait to eat it. Gonna go ahead and click on dialogue here to tag it as dialogue, then come up to the enhanced speech section and click on enhance. I'm gonna select my other two as well, select both of them at the same time, tag both of them as dialogue, and make sure to enhance both of them. So you can enhance multiple things at the same time by just selecting and lassoing them all together. Okay, now these have all been enhanced. Let's go ahead and play the first one. All right, so we'll start by putting in a quarter cup of olive oil. We've got two tablespoons of tomato paste. And it works pretty well there. We can go ahead and select it again, and we can increase the intensity up to 10 and see how it sounds now. All right, so we'll start by putting in a quarter cup of olive oil. We've got two tablespoons of tomato paste. And the fan is pretty much gone, but again, his voice is beginning to crack. Let me go ahead and select the medium fan and play that back with a value of seven, which is the default value. Let's jack the fan up to medium. All right, so we'll stir a little bit. Pretty much you just wanna use a little bit of heat to incorporate the various uh, herbs and the flavors and whatnot. 
All right, so at a value of seven, which is the default value, we're still getting a lot of that fan sound. So if you wanted to completely get rid of the fan sound, we could increase this to a value of 10, but again, at the risk of making his voice sound more robotic. Let me go ahead and just play this back now at a value of 10. Let's jack the fan up to medium. And no fan sound. All right, so we'll stir a little bit. Pretty much, you just want to use a little bit of heat to incorporate the various uh, herbs and the flavors and whatnot. And again, it's pretty impressive. Let me go ahead and just turn it all the way off so you can hear how the medium fan sounds normally. Let's jack the fan up to medium. All right, so we'll stir a little bit. Pretty much, you just want to use a little bit of heat to incorporate the various uh, herbs and the flavors and whatnot. And let's go ahead and look at the fan on high. And for this one, let's begin by taking the mix amount all the way down to zero. So we're gonna start with no enhance whatsoever. Maybe we should try the fan on high. All right, perfect. Now we're really venting all that heat out of here. All right, so we're pretty much just gonna kind of keep this going maybe for not too long, two minutes, three minutes. All right, so obviously it's pretty bad and borderline unacceptable if you wanted to release this video for Chris's brand new cooking channel. So let's go ahead and crank this value all the way up to 10 and see how it sounds on the worst possible sound I could find on our server. Maybe we should try the fan on high. Uh -huh. All right, perfect. Now we're really venting all that heat out of here. All right, so we're pretty much just going to kind of keep this going maybe for not too long, two minutes, three minutes. And you can hear that the difference is pretty remarkable. But again, you are risking having the audio sound more robotic, more unnatural. So you have to really balance this out in a way that makes sense. Sometimes that means taking one layer that's been enhanced and then holding option and dragging a duplicate of it below, then taking the duplicate and disabling the enhance by unchecking this box here. You can see it's back to normal. Then we're gonna go ahead and just expand this audio track and lower the volume of that raw audio to something like negative six and play them back side by side. All right, perfect. Now we're really venting all that heat out of here. All right, so we're pretty much just gonna kind of- Maybe we'll even lower the volume of this one a little bit more. Let's go negative 12. Gonna keep this going maybe for not too long, two minutes, three minutes. So what's happening here is we're mixing some of that original audio in with the enhanced audio. It makes it sound a little bit more clear, but you still get some of the sound of the room and the reverberations kind of mixed in together. This is gonna be unique to whatever audio you're using. So you don't have this footage to work with, but whatever footage you're using enhance on is going to require a special touch to make sure that it doesn't sound super weird, like you've done a lot of processing to it, but also it doesn't sound super terrible if the original audio you had was sort of unusable. Now, there's just one more thing about enhance to know. And that is the myth that the version of Enhance that is on Adobe's website and still up and running as of right now is better than the version of Enhance that is inside of Premiere. And the answer to that is, I just don't know. I've gone ahead and run a test where I basically enhanced all of the audio that we have here. And I also did a version of that exact same audio on the website. Let me go ahead and play back the stand mixer side by side. So this one has been enhanced, set to a value of 10 or the maximum value. I'm gonna go ahead and play back a little bit of this and then play back a little bit of this and observe the difference. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that. And then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. All right, let's hear that same thing from the version from the website. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that. And then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. Now on the website, there is a strength slider, and by default, it is set to 90%, which is what I used here. So let's go ahead and try to mimic that over here by taking the mix amount down to a value of nine or 90%. Now the waveforms don't look exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and try our enhanced audio in Premiere first again. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that. And then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. And then we'll go ahead and use the one from the website. Get your toppings, your sauce, your cheese, everything like that. And then you slide that off onto the steel in the oven. I think there is a subtle yet noticeable difference between the two. And I don't think it makes a huge difference which one you use. Ultimately, if the end result sounds good, whether you use the website or inside of Premiere, then you've achieved your end goal and everything is great. Your audience will never know how you got here. So whichever one of these tools works the best for you is going to be the best option for your film or your video.
Just keep in mind, when you use this tool, try to use it with a light touch, as you can see when we increase those values to really high numbers and really process this audio heavily, it begins to sound kind of weird, a little bit robotic, and it doesn't sound very natural anymore. So you want to find that balance between what is sounding better and clearer and also not losing the natural cadence of what's supposed to be happening in the audio that you have. AI tools specifically for audio enhancement can do some pretty amazing stuff. And sometimes they'll even save the day with source audio that would have previously been completely unusable. But this is still an early stage technology that has a lot of room for improvement. You as the editor are gonna need to exercise discretion, skillful implementation, and a healthy dose of good taste to use these tools to their fullest potential. If you'd like more training in audio editing and Premiere Pro, check out the links in the description for complete courses that teach it all. Hey there. For tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.